guys, this is one of my favorite urban edibles. It's also a wild edible, obviously. And it's called a fiddlehead. It comes up in early spring. You can see things haven't gone completely green around here. Just in the ravine behind my house. And this is what a fern looks like before it sprouts forth and looks like this. Tightly little ball, tightly bound balls like this. Well, that's a prime fiddlehead right there. I don't want to overpick one certain plant. I don't want to strip that plant and this little area clean of them. So I usually take one fiddlehead per plant and space it out. Like I said, I want there to be a nice fern population right here. It's important to the wild flora and fauna. And here's one of my references for finding wild and urban edibles. And this is another one here. Those are the two that I like best so far. So these fiddleheads can be eaten raw or cooked. I've heard stories of people overeating them and getting stomach cancer and nasty ailments like that. So just like anything, don't overdo it. I already know that I'm able to eat this plant. I've eaten it a number of times. If you haven't, you might want to do the plant test that you can read in the SAS Survival Manual and many other places. I'll eat this one right now so you notice like I can explain it. It's delicious. Tastes like asparagus. There we go. Get out there and get some guys. Spring has sprung.